Morning folks, welcome to wonderful Wheelcoats, fabulous tin mine near St Agnes, Cornwall. It's uh, sunrise at about 8am uh, in November, fairly cold but luckily not much wind today. Good job too because this is the fourth time this week I've tried to do this vlog. The first time it rained too much but I stayed around for rainbows. The second day I got quite lucky with a few shots but no rainbows but I'll show you those in a minute and the third time managed to do part of a vlog but it was just way too windy and too cold so I gave up. So this is my last chance to do a vlog this week because it, the rains are coming big time tomorrow. You can see I've got my camera set up on the tripod and I'm just waiting for the sun to rise above some cloud and really shine brightly on the engine house. So I'm using a Sony 20 to 70 millimeter lens at approximately 48 millimeters. And you can see my composition there on the screen. I've got the engine house over to the right and uh, I'm just waiting for the light. You might be able to see what I've got lined up as a composition more easily on my smartphone. This is a great app that Sony makes so that you can control the camera remotely. It saves having a stupid cable release which always break after only a few uses. Notice how the chimney dominates the scene if you get too close to it. Now we're just going down to the lower engine house. So a bit of a steep walk down the cliff. I'll show you where we're going. I love it here. It's only eight miles from my house, I'm so lucky. So I've been here a lot and over the last five years, taken a lot of good, Im good images. So uh, I'm gonna talk you through some of those good images later on in this video. So we're about halfway down now and this is a good place to take a shot from, but not today because the sun's not hit the engine house yet. On the left you can see a lot of heather, so in June, July and, and uh, early August it's a good place to shoot from and get down low and get some of the heather in the foreground. I did manage to get a good shot of this the other day when I was trying to do a vlog here but it was too cold and windy. Right, well that didn't work either, so I wanted to go down to the lower engine house and take a photograph down there, but the weather was just too bad, the light was poor, so I couldn't get a good image, so I decided to come back to the office and talk you through some of my best images. But first of all, I want to say a few words about getting too close to the chimneys of these engine houses with a wide angle lens. You end up with a distorted looking, leaning backwards, kind of terrible look which I see so often on social media and it's just I can't stand it it just looks so unprofessional it's not that difficult to do it properly if you know how to use Photoshop 
look up Photoshop transform tool if you've got Photoshop and you don't know how to do it. It's fairly easy to do. It takes me about one minute. When to go? I, I would say July is probably the best month if you want good weather, not too many people, and heather all over the place. Also in July you can get some fine grasses amongst the heather, so worth shooting with a long lens to get these. If you go in May, you can get some fine pictures of the sea pinks down in the foreground, but you need a very low tripod. I use a Leofoto 324 CEX, which is great because it's got no central column. So when I splay the legs right out, this is as high, this, <laughs> this is as high as the tripod gets. For this shot I had the tripod down low as well. Polarising filter used to add a bit of drama to the sky. Focus stacking so that the foreground heather is really sharp but so is the engine house. Also notice the importance of putting these grasses on the left. So they balance out the engine house making for a good composition. I love this shot, the sea looks a beautiful blue. So it's not even shot late in the day, but I used focus stacking to make sure that I got the heather in focus right from the bottom of the frame all the way up. I used the path on the right hand side as a kind of lead in line as well. So this is the back of the lower engine house. Again, I used focus stacking to make sure that the heather was really sharp and the distant view as well. The back of the engine house isn't my favourite look but this is the only angle you can really get the tide in as well so I like to show the sea as well and especially at this stage when the tide was out somewhat so that you get the waves showing. This was a tricky shot to focus. I was so close to this heather in the foreground I was literally about a foot away from it. So I could have kept it all out of focus and just had the engine house sharp. And it did look okay, but I, I think it's a little bit better because I did try and focus stack. Very difficult though it was. So the heather in the foreground is really sharp, but then there is a, a kind of blurred zone between the heather and the engine house, which is not ideal, but still this image has sold pretty well. Come in winter, and you're probably going to get some storms and Wheelcoats is a great place for this. As you can see, the waves crash up against the cliffs. And I like the dramatic sky as well and you just don't get that on a blue sky sunny day. So well worth coming down here for winter. Not much to say about this snowy shot really. Um, I'm just glad that I got straight out of bed really quickly and got down there because the snow melted within an hour or something like that. I like to bring my workshop clients here because Wheelcoats is such an easy place to get a half decent photograph of. Going there at sunset or sunrise, you can't really fail to get a half decent image. I've always been pleased with this shot of the rainbow because I, I was quite negative. I got there, it was rainy. I thought, oh, what have I done? Why am I bothering? I could be at home doing other stuff. But uh, I saw a break in the clouds and Sure enough, I was rewarded with this fantastic rainbow. Now, I don't want you to think, oh, it's okay for you, Tony. You're a professional photographer. You can afford the expensive equipment. You're bound to get great photos. Well, this shot with the rainbow was taken with a Sony a7R about five years ago. And you can pick this camera up for about 500 pounds now. This shot was also taken with a Sony a7R, as you can see. Not much to say about it. I was just in the right place at the right time. The sun had gone down about 20 minutes before this amazing glow happened. So don't just leave as soon as the sun goes down. At night, Wheelcoats is a fabulous place to go. There'll be no one else there, and it is just serene, peaceful, beautiful. So these two shots I'm showing you are both taken, I believe, at 20 seconds. So any longer than that, and you get slight streaks in the stars. Also at Wheelcoats you might see a few chuffs, so it's worth having a long lens with you. And if you climb up this hill you can see here, which is behind Wheelcoats, 
St Agnes Beacon. This is covered with heather in July, so it's a fabulous foreground. But also you can get shots of wheel coats and Godrevi Lighthouse and St Ives in the background. Well, thanks for tuning in and please give me a subscribe and a like and do leave any comments below. I'd be glad to hear them and respond. Bye for now.